hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified on when i drop updates on this is fate radri stops the bike at the signal the see kina asking for money and the person not paying anything Paki feels the Kina deserves some money from them. He tells that Kinas can work and earn. She tells that society doesn't support Kinas. Jobs are gender-oriented these days, and Kinas don't get a chance to earn money. She speaks in favor of the Kinas. She tells that the Kinas' blessings doesn't go waste. She gives the money to the Kina. The Kina blesses them to be together always. She tells that she would pray they get married soon, and their love story always continues. Paki says no. Rajvi says yes. She asks what he's saying. He says he was going to tell the same thing. She wants to clear up the misunderstanding. Rajvi pulls and saves her from getting hit by a vehicle. They get into a moment. She thanks him and rushes to the Kina to tell the truth. On the other hand, Nidhi plans to go to the trailer to get her necklace. She tells Shoya that the driver didn't come and Karan have gone with Banya and Karina to the temple. He asks her to calm down and asks why she wants to a driver. She asks if he will drive her there. He asks what's urgent. She tells she wants her outfit and jewelry to be perfect in the style award function. That she has to pick up her necklace. He tells he will do it. He asks her to be at the award function on time. She thanks him. Karan looks for Peter. Peter is too close. He gets to see her reflection in the mirror. She goes to donate food. Karan misses seeing her and shows Prita's picture to the people and asks if they have seen her. A man confirms he has seen Prita and she is outside distributing food to the needy. Karan asks if he is sure. The man says he is very sure. Karan gets happy, rushes outside to find her. Another man also tells him that Prita has given him tasty food, that Prita just left. Karan runs to find Prita. Paki asks the Kina to take the blessing back. The Kina asks if she fought with Rajvi. She asks Rajvi to say sorry to Paki. Paki says sorry. The Kina tells the blessings can't be taken back. Paki tells her marriage got fixed somewhere else. The Kina tells it will break and it will happen with one destined for Rajvi. Paki tells her family would get defamed if this happened. The Kina tells Paki does, didn't say she doesn't love Rajvi. Paki replies she didn't say she loves him. Rajvi tells Paki isn't his girlfriend and they are just neighbor. The Kina tells they got blessed to be together as a couple. Rajvi tells Paki that he doesn't believe this. He asks her to forget it and come. They leave. The Kina tells nobody can wipe their Kudali Bagia. Prita helps a lady at the temple. Karan reaches there in search of her. In a dramatic moment, Karan gets a jack and splashes the cinder over Prita's hairline. Karan apologizes to the other lady. He doesn't see Prita in front of him. Rajvi drops Paki at the jewelry store and asks her not to go. She asks the reason. He asks her to call Ketan and asks if he has come. She calls Ketan. Ketan and his mom are stuck in a traffic jam. Ketan asks Paki to wait for them. Paki tells she would wait. Rajvi tells him he also waits till they come. He finds some men trying to tease Paki and takes Paki from there. Gets angered and protects Paki. He tells Paki is with him. He takes Paki inside the jewelry store. Paki gets touched by his stage gesture. The ladies in the showroom see them and think they are a cop in love. Rajvi apologizes to Paki for holding her. She tells him he has done a good thing. He tells he doesn't like to fight when the matter can get sorted easily. She tells even she doesn't like fight. He tells when he fights, he forgets everything. He thinks of Prita. He wants his revenge on Karan. The showroom manager offers Rajvi and Paki huge discounts because they are a couple. Paki tells Rajvi is not her husband. Mahi calls up Paki and asks her to buy some great jewelry design that she has to meet Ketan and talk about the project. Paki asks her to take a breath. A breath. Mahi tells she's very excited. She tells that Ketan can cast her in his movie. Paki smiles hearing her plans. Shoya reaches the showroom. He hits a bike. Paki witnesses this. Shoya and the bike owner have a talk. The man asks Paki to testify against Shoya. Paki tells it's Shoya's mistake. Shoya asks her not to lie. She tells that she isn't lying. Shoya tells that it's not his mistake. Constable asks Shoya to come with him. Shoya tells him he has to get somewhere. Constable takes him. Shoya gets angry at Paki. Rajvi tells the lady that Paki has to buy the ring. 
The lady tells that the guy buys the ring for the girl, that he reminded her of her son. He asks her not to feel sorry for giving love. She asks him to select a ring. Rajvi checks the ring and likes it for Paki. Paki comes back to the showroom. She finds Rajvi selecting the ring for her. He shows the ring he liked. Paki tells it's really nice. The lady tells her Rajvi's choice is good. After all, he chose Paki. Ketan and his mom comes there. Shoyan gets troubled by the police. He has to go to the awards ceremony and reach on time. He offers money to the man. He unwillingly strikes a deal. The man agrees and accepts the offer. Shoya sends the money to him and leaves from there. He tells the constable that their issue is resolved, that he will not forgive Paki. Paki tells the sales girl that Rajvi isn't her boyfriend. Ketan and his mom arrive there. Rajvi and Paki greet her. He tells that he just came to drop Paki. The sales girl tells Ketan about Paki and Rajvi getting a special discount. Ketan and his mom question Paki when the sales girl calls Rajvi Paki's fiancé. Rajvi feels worried for Paki. He collides with Mahi and apologizes. He tells he came to drop Paki. She asks him to come with her. He tells some guys were teasing Paki so he had taken her inside. She asks him to be with her and flirts with him. Shreya is much upset recollecting Paki. Sanju asks why he is so angry. Shreya tells he has to teach a lesson to Paki, who is troubling him. Sanju asks who is the girl. Shreya doesn't remember her name. Paki worries for Jasby, who feels unwell. She asks Jasby to have some water. Jasby questions her about Rajvi. Paki tells they have a misunderstanding. Ketan tells he understood the common situation that always arises in his films. Mahi meets them. She praises Ketan's amazing movie. Jasby asks Rajvi why he came again. Mahi tells him asked Rajvi to come with her. Ketan tells Rajvi and Paki won't become a couple for real. He asks for a discount offer. Ketan doesn't like the ring chosen by Rajvi. Gopreet wonders why Prita didn't get married when she's so beautiful and good-hearted. She wishes Prita was married to Karan because they would look good together. Ketan gets confused about the ring. Paki likes the ring chosen by Rajvi. She drops it. Rajvi picks it up and makes Paki wear it. They have a moment. Ketan asks Paki to try a ring. She hides the ring she's wearing.